Oh, hello. Hello, hello, gamers. Um, so this is Sonic Rattles 2. It's, it's a very interesting game. It's, you know, kind of like your typical Sonic game with platforming and whatnot, but uh, it's also kind of a racing game. Um, so I'm going to be doing Sonic's story. And I will start in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Thank you. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, this is kind of a racing game. So not only we have to beat the level, but we have to do it faster than our opponent. In which, okay, in this case, we're fighting Knuckles. Um, so the first thing uh, I want to talk about is every character in this game has something called signature move. So if you look at the top uh, right corner of the screen, you can see that there is a little bar that is draining now. Uh, that bar can be filled by collecting rings, destroying enemies, wooden crates and whatnot. And when the bar is filled, uh, is filled you can perform a signature move. Uh, Sonic's signature move is called Sonic Boom. It is uh, something that gives Sonic a burst of speed and gives him temporary uh, invincibility. Ability, I want to say? I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure <laughs> if it really makes Sonic invincible or not. But in the first act, it um, allows us to skip two very slow barrel sections. Normally, you're supposed to jump inside of a barrel and roll on the tracks, and like it is, it is really slow. Like it's, I think it's five seconds slower per like one section. So we just save ten seconds there, just like that. Um, this game doesn't have like huge, huge skips, but it does have stuff like that. All right, cool. Ooh, I do not want to restart. All right, cool. Uh, moving on into Act Two. Uh, so every Act Two in this game is something this game calls rival battles, I believe. Uh, and this one in particular is a knockout fight. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, ooh. Oh my god, so there is a slight chance that Knuckles can go down there, and the lower path is about like a second slower. It happens randomly, <laughs> I have no idea why, but... Uh. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, we have to walk in three rounds against uh, our rival here, which is Knuckles. Uh, so we both start with three rings, and uh, a knockout is when someone gets hit without any rings. Uh, and for this fight, it's it's very simple. Uh, just stand in one place and uh, one and and two and boom. I can't believe you do this to Knuckles. I'm so sorry. Um, so for Act Three, we're actually going to be switching to Tails. So if you notice the, uh, on the character select screen, all eight characters are grouped into four pairs. Uh, so Sonic and Tails, uh, Shadow and Metal Sonic, Rouge and Knuckles, uh, Silver and Despio. Uh, so for Act 3 we're going to be switching to the other character of the pair. Um, ooh. So in this case we're switching to Tails, and Tails has his own signature move, which is light. Makes perfect sense. Um, so um, one thing I should also talk about is the main speedrunning tech of this game uh, is that so you probably notice that uh, I spam kick a lot. Like, you can see Tails is kicking a lot right there. And, um, this, yeah, this is, like, the main speedrunning tech of this game. Uh, ooh, so whenever, whenever you hit a boost pad, you want to spam kick because kicking preserves whatever speed you have at the moment. So it is very beneficial to just spam it after you gain speed. So mainly after a boost pad, or a spin dash, actually. I'm gonna take this tube. I'm gonna fly up here. The ball doesn't quite exist. I'm gonna take the hang glider. Those hang gliders uh, carry at the same speed as you enter them, so you want to build a lot of speed before entering them. Uh, and just like that, very nice, very clean hang gliders. If you crash uh, anywhere, it's, it's a huge time loss. Don't want that to happen. Ooh, didn't quite reach the boost panel. It's fine. It's fine. And it's time for the boss fight. Uh, so the way boss fights work in this game, um, so it's it's actually kind of a race to uh, you gotta 
gotta do six hits before your opponent dies. So you can see, like, at the bottom of the screen, there are two counters. One for me, one for Knuckles. Uh, this is uh, the easiest fight in the game, obviously. I mean, it's the first boss. Nothing, I think, too crazy going on. The boss fights will become much, much worse later, trust me. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. Clean, very clean. Nice. Um, so, another very interesting thing about this game is that uh, you probably noticed how after each level I actually quit to the main menu and, like, go back to the game. And that is because um, this game has something called card collection. So after each level, the game kind of gives you cards for completing uh, certain objectives, like, I don't know, destroy five enemies, collect, like, X amount of rings, etc, etc. Uh, and uh, after the level is finished, the game, like, shows each, each card that you got individually. And that is very slow. So instead, we can just skip all of that, because the game, luckily for us, saves all the progress as soon as you touch the goal ring. So, uh, doing that uh, doing that skips all the uh, Victor animations, the result screen, everything. Like, it's just so much faster uh, to do that. Yeah, we're gonna kick here. Oh, oh, oh. These effects. Yeah. Alright. Jump here, take the zipline. We're almost done. This game has relatively short levels if you know what you're doing, but you know, they're just like an obstacle course, really. Like, the game just throws a bunch of stuff your way and that you have to overcome. What a weird screen effect. Yeah, that is kind of like the ink power up in Mario Kart, I guess. It's <laughs> supp supposed to make vision worse, but I would argue this is somewhat better than that, because, like, even despite all the distortion, you can still see what's going on. Mm. Ooh, I did, did not like... Okay. I've never seen Silver land on the same platform. Uh, that's the first. Uh, but yeah, this fight is kind of the same deal as the last time, um, nothing, nothing too different. All right, gonna be, gonna be racing Espio here. So Espio's signature move is actually like it, it makes sense for Espio, right? He's he's turning invisible, but like, what's good? What is that doing in a racing game? Like, <laughs> yeah, why? I mean, it makes sense, but... Why? I hopefully... Oh. Sometimes Tails can attack those crates that I just passed for no reason. It's very good that it didn't happen. The strange guy. Yeah. The collision in this game is, is a little weird. Sometimes. Alright. Um... Yeah, I guess one thing I haven't talked about is the items. So, as a lot of racing games do, this this game ha also has items. And, interestingly enough, the way items behave depends on whether in the, you're in the first place or in the second place. So, for example, uh, you can pick up a fire item, say. And if you're in the first place... Ooh, alright, fine. If you're in the first place, that item will give you a fire shield that will protect you from one hit. However, if you're in the second place, uh, you will send a fireball that will chase enemy and try... Uh, not enemy, but like your rival, and mm. it will try to attack them three times until it disappears. And uh, the game actually takes advantage of the like 3D space. Like The game is very aware that it is, it is set in 3D space, so uh, the fireball will actually like go out of bounds uh, before it reaches the opponent. Um, and this is the second boss fight, and this is where things can get really, really bad. Uh, because Silver's AI is, is really, really awful. Ooh, I, I, went, I went too early on that. Um, yeah, the way this boss fight works is you're supposed to hit Eggman 
with these robots that carry bombs. Uh, Eggman has two weak spots, uh, like the front and the middle of that robot. I believe he's called a crawler. Um, so yeah, but sometimes Silver can just, you know, can kick you, can destroy the robots, like that. <laughs> and it, oh, it, it, what a nerd! How dare yeah. you? It can it can be pretty bad. And this is like where the main bulk of RNG. Oh, I did not want to attack that guy. But yeah, this is where the main bulk of RNG in this game comes from. It's actually just the way um, AI behaves. Um, you can lose like multiple minutes on certain boss fights, but we'll get to that later. Um, for now, it's. Right. Oh! How dare you! Get away from me! Oh! I was not facing that way, for the record, but the game knows better, I suppose. Right, cool. Tail. So, moving on to Neon Palace. Um, so, this is the first uh, level in the game where actually we're not going to be racing anyone. This is just a time attack. Uh, pretty straightforward, just get to the goal as fast as you can. Uh, this level is actually pretty tight casually. like. It can take a few tries to get this one right, uh, but luckily I know I know what to do, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, this game, uh, this level has right. slot machines, and I have no idea how they work actually. Sometimes they can just let you through, sometimes they can drop you below them, and I'm not sure what the conditions are for either of those things to happen, but if you learn the timing for mashing A, then you're good to go. Alright, cool. Nice. That skipped quite a bit of platforming that you normally have to do. Nice. But again, it's not not the huge skip, but like it's the thing with this game. You you, you skip like five ten seconds of level normally. Let's see. Ooh ooh. Okay, one twenty two. Nice. That platform is on four second cycle, I believe. So up until that point, you lose time in the increments of four seconds. Oh, not this! Oh, come on! I'm gonna jump down here. Nice. Boy, oh boy. Neon two. After that's something like after every mission you're having to do the uh, like the pause menu and mm -hmm. restart. How much time does that save altogether? Oh, I'm not entirely sure, but. I would imagine it's quite a bit because, like, there is just so much. You just keep the victory animations, you skip card collection, you skip, like, a bit of yeah. cutscenes, maybe a bit of uh, movement on the map. So you, you, you do skip quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, this is Neon 2, and unlike the previous two Rivals battles, this one is not consistent at all. So it is a miracle that. <laughs> This goes so well. Like, oh my god, this was like as almost as good as it gets. Like, you have no idea how much time you can lose here. Like, there is no setup, no anything. It just goes however it wants. And I'm I'm so glad I got that out of the way so quickly. Like, we're gonna be playing a little bingo here. Uh, so. That's the bingo. Yep. Uh, so if you're familiar with Sonic Heroes, um, so you know how like every bingo is essentially tied to a certain area in their level. Uh, this game works a bit different in that regard. Uh, so like if I say touch a cube with a number at the beginning of the stage, uh, that number will stay lit up on the bingo board until someone gets a bingo. 
Uh, so yeah, it's it's very important to get like certain bingos. Ooh, I did not. So hopefully, okay, cool. Yeah, I, uh, because whenever you get a bingo, you get a bunch of rings, and I really needed those rings to get the flight there. So oh, I missed that one. It's it's okay. I'm just gonna take a little. Yep, I'm gonna just go here. Take those nice loops. Uh, so yeah, in this level we're racing Metal Sonic, and Metal Sonic's signature move is actually quite interesting. It, uh, the game calls it Copycat, and that is because Metal Sonic's uh, special uh, signature move is whatever his rival's signature move is. Uh, so for example, in this race Metal Sonic can actually fly. Flying is cheating a little bit. I know that Tails can fly in like a few sections, but. So, this is you know. gonna be awesome! Right, so. Ooh, this boss. This boss. I hate this boss. Oh. Uh, so, yeah. The way this oh. boss fight works is Eggman is gonna drop those cubes with numbers, and whenever someone gets a bingo, Eggman is gonna descend and become vulnerable. Uh, and, like, this is how normally this fight is supposed to work. Uh, however, if Eggman puts two cube... Ooh, if it can... Ah! He couldn't get it. Uh, so if Eggman actually puts two cubes like that, like, and in a stack, then you can, you can actually jump on top of the highest cube and attack Eggman from there, and the fight goes significantly faster. Like, you can get a time of, like, 40 seconds if the RNG is on your side. Um... But otherwise, like, the boss can take, like, 2 minutes and 40 seconds, worst case scenario. So you can lose, like, a lot of time just because the game hates you. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't stay on top of that cube. Um, yeah, this is, like, how the game is supposed to go right now, but hopefully we'll get another nice tag. 2, 3, 4, 8... Uh, Ooh, okay, can we? Alright, Shadow, please get it. Okay. Okay. So, hopefully. So, you see how this skips, like, the attack animation and, like... Oh, come on! Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh. Yeah. So, another thing is that whenever someone gets a bingo, all, all of the cubes on the arena just disappear. Uh, they also start to explode after some time for no reason. But, you know... Just normal bingo behavior. Oh, come on, Shadow. Yeah, it's it's very unfortunate. It's just bad RNG. Oh, 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 come on, Shadow. Why? Oh, he got another? What? Oh, this guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is so uh, unfortunate. Alright, hopefully. Bingo, maybe? No, no. No, no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, yeah. But boy, oh boy. Let me introduce you to another RNG heavy stage in the run. Um, so, we need to collect 100 rings here. And one of the items that you can get from those, like, item thingies is a magnet. And the magnet attracts rings, and rings is exactly what we need. Uh, so we're just gonna hope that we get at least one. I'm not sure if it's RNG or not, but I, I've tried labbing it, and it doesn't... Ooh, let's go, that's a magnet. Um, but yeah, I've tried labbing it, and it just doesn't seem like it's a consistent thing. <laughs> so we'll just... Oh, another one! Let's go! Oh my god, that was so quick. What? Wow. Sorry. Marathon luck is turning. Is this a um, turning point for the Sonic birthday? Yeah. Um, so, this game actually has multiple types of rival battles, and this is finally a different type that we're gonna see here. It's called a ring battle, and the goal is very simple. You need to get more rings than your opponent in a certain amount of time. I believe that for this fight, it's one and a half minutes. Uh, so this is like an auto scroll essentially. If you're just, you know, not standing still, it's very easy to win. So I believe if 
it would be a good time for a donation or two, uh, if we have any. So, well, we haven't had any more new donations, but a reminder that we are now less than three hours away from deciding whether Drum Basher is going to be doing Sonic Adventure 2 Blast with hints or not. He has got a All Dark Stages run from a little bit later today, and hey, you folks can decide whether he is using the hint monitors or not. A reminder that you can send your donations in with exclamation mark donate. And that's why we're here. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome to the Sonic Speedrun Community Channel. After a year or so of general respite, the uh, SSC events team are back and here to serve the community with marathons, tournaments, showcases and discussions. So make sure to follow the channel for a range of streams from across the series in the future. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, meanwhile this is almost over, just a few more seconds. Sonic wins. Let's go. Wow, SPO was getting absolutely dunked on when, <laughs> when you were doing the last bit of menu. <laughs> Alright, so um yeah, Frontier Canyon 3, uh yeah, this this level sucks. <laughs> and that is because we're racing silver. So remember how I talked about how like different characters have different special moves uh, signature moves, my bad. So Servo's signature move is um something that can be really bad for anyone, uh, he can remap your controls randomly for a few seconds, so, like, all of your directional inputs get mixed up, and all of the other, like, action buttons, or whatever you call them, get mixed up, uh, and it can be really bad if he, like, does it in a very unfortunate spot in the level, like, you can just die sometimes. Um, mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. Uh, Silver is actually catching up. I believe this is like the level where the rubber bending really kicks in. Uh, the AI is particularly good at that uh, car thing. Like if you just ever... S uh oh, okay, so this is Silver's signature move. So hopefully I don't die. Okay. Uh, so you can see like those green dots around me and this is how the game like tells you that Silver did his thing. Uh, I was supposed to do a skip, a little skip there, but because the move was active, I didn't dare, uh, because that could kill me, because I remember the controls get remapped randomly, and, uh, well, you can figure out which button, like, becomes which, it's just faster to figure out which button is right, and just go. Like, that is the best threat in that scenario. Luckily, we still won. Um, so yeah, if Silver like does that thing in a very unfortunate spot, that you can also lose a race, and that will cost you some time. Um, yeah. So now we have these bots, uh, and this is another instance of RNG in the game. So yeah, the RNG in this game is mainly like just bosses. Uh, so there are three sets of platforms that we can get. Uh, so this is the best one. Um, and the bull can stop for random amounts of time in front in front of those platforms, for random amounts of time, right? So like he he can not he can stop he can just run through those platforms. Um, and the very unfortunate thing about those platforms is that they are actually solid from below. So like you have to jump around them to get on top, which is a really weird decision for a 2D platformer. But I guess. It's something that they decided to do. Ooh, okay. This fight is actually going really well. Because I remember this one being very tough when yeah, I Yeah, it uh, when I the that. SPO's AI is like brutal. But we got yeah. just in over a minute, that's actually a really good time. Boy. That's like I believe the best time I've gotten was like fifty seconds and you know one 10x is not a bad time at all. Um, so now we're in this spooky mansion, and because, like, spooky mansion ghosts, like, you know, uh, we're gonna be racing ghost version of Sonic here. Uh, because the game just, you know, we're in a spooky mansion. Um, 
we've got Ghost here to uh, kind of like in some dope Polisec too, actually. So there are those switches that turn on lights and uh, oh, you could see a ghost there for a second. Um, yeah, after some time, the lights just turn off and the ghost starts to spawn. I love this zone a lot. Uh, like, just casual and from speedrunning perspective, I think. Just from speedrunning perspective, the end game is really, really cool. Has some of my favorite just movements in the game. So we're going to be doing a little skip here. Normally supposed to take jump panels. And then normally you're supposed to take warp holes there, but we just skipped all of that, and that saved around 8 to 10 seconds, I believe. So, once again, not a huge skip, but it feels really nice to get. Oh. And I think the music in this game is also, in, the, in this level, is also really cool. Some of my favorites in the game. Just love this zone a lot. Mm. I, I usually tell people that like um you know if a game looks and sounds good then like that's enough for me mm -hmm. and for the PSP like I don't know the the themes that they went for in this game like they translate pretty well the graphics of the PSP compare. absolutely all right so this is the last rival <laughs> battle of the game uh, oh, and it's one. it's very different from the others because. Ooh, that was really bad. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Yeah. So there is a very consistent strat for this fight, but it's very hard. It's very easy to mess up, and that is exactly what happened there. Uh, Tails' AI is incredibly brutal. Like if you mess up, it's just it's it's over. It really is. Um, like the the strat looks relatively simple, right? You just jump here, you kick him once. You kick him twice and boom. But the timing for the second hit is a little weird. It's not what you think it is. Like, you have to kick him a little earlier. Like, you see how there is, like, for a split second, there is a circle button that appears on screen and, like, the game tells you to kick him now? That is a trap. You want to kick him actually earlier than that. Alright, lost one round, but it's not a biggie. Maybe. Um, right, we're gonna be racing ghost sales, obviously. I'll show you what I can get. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so. Hopefully. Ooh. Yeah, I was about to say, hopefully nothing goes wrong. In a match two symbols so each stage in the game has like a little gimmick to it like be it like a car thing in frontiers canyon 3 or like match two game in this stage I, I i'm not sure what's the reason behind choosing this mini game for this stage but oh, i can't jump here okay but sure it's if it works then I'm gonna, gonna take a flight here. The flight actually preserves whatever speed you have, so it's better to fly whenever you have a bunch of speed. Gonna skip the spiral, very nice. Once again, a, a tiny skip, but this is how this game is really. Just tiny skips like... Uh oh. Has something happened? No! Stop that! Alright, so this boss fight is it's probably my least favorite fight uh, in the game. So you're supposed to stand on the switch, turn the lights on, reveal Eggman's Oh! Okay, cool. Ghost Sonic got a hit. That's it's fine. But I think, yeah, it's messed up the fight a little bit. No, stop that. 
yeah, so normally you're supposed to stand on the switch, and whenever the light is on, um, that can reveal Eggman's cockpit and make him vulnerable. But I think because the other Sonic got a hit, that messed up the like perfect strat for this fight. Uh, sadly, uh. yeah. So normally you can get this done in like 45, 40 seconds maybe. Uh, 102 is not a bad time still. Nice, that looks like a pretty solid position that he'll, you know, come over to. Yeah, so normally you just uh, want to wait for him on the right side of the arena next to that switch, but the other Sonic can be a pain sometimes. Alright, so we're in the final uh, zone of the game, uh, and this zone is a little bit different from the rest. Uh, first of all, we're not going to be doing a rival battle here. Both stages here are going to be just races. But they're not actually going to be races, I just lied. Uh, we're, uh, we're actually just going to be doing time attack. So once again, it's just a uh, race against the clock to the finish line. Uh, very, very cool level. I really like the movement here as well. Alright, so I'm going to jump up here. Do a little spin dash. Oop, I can jump all the way. But I love Crisis City. Yeah. Ooh. I was meant to jump over those boxes, but it's it's all good. Oh, that was weird. Alright. Gonna do Sonic Boom. So actually Sonic Boom messes up with your physics. Oh. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, those quick time event thingies, they don't work properly with Sonic Boom, so, like, uh, those hoops and, like, uh, things in the ground are supposed to launch you horizontally sometimes, but with Sonic Boom it just doesn't work very well. Alright, gonna skip this spiral, very nice. It is very easy to get uh, caught in the spiral, grab it and just go out of bounds and die, uh, so... Once again, just a tiny skip that saves a bit of time, but... Very cool when you get it. Right. Gonna do a bit of spin dash here. Use Sonic Boom to just jump towards the gaps and just like that. Sonic. Act three, no act two. As I said, uh, once again, a time attack. So we're just gonna be going as fast as possible and. This level has the only glitch in the game called Fast Cannon Glitch, so hopefully we will get it. Right, let's see. Uh, didn't get it, but we will have one more opportunity. So that cannon can um, shoot you at a speed much higher than it did, uh, but you need to time the shot uh, perfectly for that. It's it's hard to get, but oh, still, you're not supposed to go that way. Alright, I'm gonna take the magnet. Alright, fly up here. Alright. I'm gonna take this rocket. Not gonna take this rocket, gonna fly up instead. Ugh, I bonked on the ceiling, that's unfortunate. Uh oh, come on. Oh my god. Alright, another shot at fast cannon glitch. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh well. It doesn't save that much time, so. Alright, so I'm. Probably gonna show a little funny here. Um, so there is this fiery tornado, but if we can just right. So if you look just uh, below Tails' icon, there is actually a cow right there, and uh, <laughs> there is a cow below the two X O uh, X and circle buttons. I don't know why they put that. I don't 
discovered this on accident when I was messing with the game. And, like, they, they absolutely had no reason to put this, this in. Like, no one would ever notice. <laughs> but... <laughs> sure. Shout out to the cow. It's funny that, you know, like, you're controlling this fox that looks like some, like, I don't know, cuddly toy, and then there's a realistic cow. <laughs> you're like, what? In huh? a, and in an almost destructed seat as well, like... Yeah. Why? Alright, so I'm gonna grab some rings. Uh, gonna do a little funny. Say goodbye to Sonic. So yeah, um, the way this fight works is, first of all, this is not a race, but it's just a normal boss fight. Uh, so we're supposed to get 8 hits. Uh, but second of all, if you take a look at the uh, ooh, top right corner of the screen, there is actually a counter there. And a distance counter, of all things. So we're supposed to destroy this guy uh, before we reach the ground, for whatever reason. The game just never tells you why you need to do that in the air, but... Whatever. Um, um, and Tails is actually, like... He doesn't get any hits. He's just here to mess with us, and you're, you know, you're probably wondering why. Why are we here? Like, how? Like, what? What happened? Um, yeah. So the story behind uh, all of this is that Eggman supposedly found an ancient manuscript about this guy called Ifrit, which we're fighting right now, and you know he wanted to take his power and, like, do some evil things with it. You know, just yeah. usual Eggman stuff. But things things got a little out of hand, and uh, this guy woke up uh, a little too early, and now we have to stop him. Uh, and this guy is controlling Tails' mind. So in this uh, fight, we're actually fighting against real Tails, not a ghost or anything. Um, but yeah... Just a few more hits. Alright, say goodbye to Sonic. I believe this actually manipulates Tails' AI in some way, but it's just funny to do. It's now because, Tails, but it lost. Yeah, because even though Sonic is not on screen, you can still do those hits in the air, like when the game tells you to do an input. So, right here. The window for that last quick time event is actually really small, so I'm I'm very glad that I managed to hit it. I tend to miss it sometimes. Uh, yeah, time is coming up on the last hit. Alright. Oh. And... Time! GG! Thank you. Dharma, and then what happens to the world now? Okay. Yeah. We can learn actually. Uh, so I believe there is a bit of cutscenes. So yeah, this is what happens after every level. You get a uh, victory screen, you get all of those cards. Uh, so normally you get like four to five cards, like maybe three to five cards on average. Uh, you get a little cutscene after every boss fight. Uh, so yeah, that like minion that I was doing, it Saves quite a bit of time. Mm, yeah, I think so. so I yeah, guess let's... the effort wasn't really as strong as it was cracked up to be. Hmm. Perhaps it it's, was. It's no good fun that they like got full on let's head back voice to the actors garden and take for this. Because I think the first game wasn't fully voiced. Yeah, I believe so. But shouldn't we look for Eggman? We've yeah, taken even if the in the speed run we don't really, you, know, you don't hear it that much. So why do we need to look for Eggman? But no, whilst whilst the story's closing out, um. Are there any, any shout-outs right. you want to do, Black Doom? Um, yeah, absolutely. I would like, first of all, I would like to shout out uh, Book to the Man, who inspired me to run this game. So I saw his run of Sonic Rivals 1 at an event called Sonic and the Glitchless Gauntlet. And, um... 
You won't let yeah. me. You won't let me forget it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I knew that he was gonna do it, and I was like, "Damn, I love Rivals games. I want to run one." So I, mm. I ended up running two, but uh, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. close enough. It's close enough. Yeah. Um, but I would also like to shout out, um, like all of the, like basically the entire Sonic speedrunning community, like all of the people I've met. Um, been super, super supportive, like just incredible people. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you for having me. Awesome. And if people want to catch, you know, whatever you're up to, whether that might be rivals or heroes or whatever you, whatever, whatever else you have in your stream schedule, where can people find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash BlackDoom99. Uh, so yeah, I stream. A bunch of stuff. I mostly speedrun uh, Sonic games, but every um, Sunday or so, I speed, I stream Sudoku. So if you like puzzles, then sure, yeah, make sure to tune in. Sometimes I play casual stuff too, but on very rare occasions. Um, yeah. Awesome. Well, before we head to our intermission and we bring you another classic race, you do love to see it. Um, just to let you know that we had a donation of five dollars from PBR64 saying shout out to my lad Black Doom for representing Yo. an obscure Sonic game. Thank you, PBR. Shout out to you as well. Yeah. Um, and that puts us at a seventy-five dollar total. That wasn't going towards our um, hintless hunting, but folks, we are just under halfway towards that. Got another two and a half hours. If that's something that you want to see happen. Um, yeah, let's 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 put something towards that. But um, folks, we're going to be back after this with a little Sonic and Knuckles Sonic Three block, I suppose. So we're going to be having a race with the boy, the guy. We are getting Knuckles on board, everybody. Um, yes, very exciting times. We will see you in not too long. <laughs> <laughs>